In this tutorial, I'll show you how to download WordPress and install it on your local Windows computer uh, to use it as a test site or a development site uh, or just uh, something to run on your local computer. Uh, and I'm going to do that with uh, using uh, the ZAMP package from Apache Friends. Now before I show you this, let me make one point. This is not something that I would recommend you do and connect it to the internet. The ZAMP package by default that you download from Apache Friends isn't secure enough to run over the internet unless you do some uh, significant changes to it. So the purpose of this video is to show you how to have a local copy of WordPress on your local computer uh, to use for testing purposes, to use for development purposes, but it's an offline copy that will run on your local computer. Uh, sometimes I take this with me and install it on a USB stick if I'm going to be at conferences doing presentations or something like that just as a backup in case I don't have an internet connection then I still have a server running on my laptop Windows machine uh, with WordPress and any other applications that I want to run on it. Uh, so that's just a sort of a, a disclaimer to start here. I wouldn't recommend that you take this default package and run it online without some significant uh, enhances to security. So the first thing that we want to do to make this happen is to go to ApacheFriends.org and at Apache Friends uh, we're going to download a complete LAMP application that will run on your Windows uh, computer. So I'm going to click on ZAMP for uh, Windows and uh, that will take me to the download screen. There are a few different packages you could run here but for our purposes I'm going to get the ZAMP Lite and that is sort of a stripped down package that only has the basic stuff that we would need to run WordPress or virtually any other uh, PHP MySQL application. Uh, it comes with Apache, PHP, MySQL, PHP MyAdmin, and then a few other things. Uh, but that's all we need. Uh, so to get this, I'm going to go ahead and download the zip file here from uh, Apache Friends. And I'm just going to save it on the desktop of my local computer. Ultimately, I'm going to be installing this on a USB drive. But I typically like to download these things first to my computer, extract them, and then move them over to the zip drive. So let's let this download. Okay, we finished downloading it, so we're done with that. If you look below the download link, uh, Apache Friends gives you a couple of ways to install this. One is with the uh, installer, uh, but we're not going to do that. We're not going to install it on the computer. Uh, the other way is to install without the installer and that's what we're going to do. We're actually going to install this on a USB stick. Uh, the key to keep in mind here when you're doing it without the installer is that you want to make sure that you unpack this, that you install this in the top level directory of whatever drive you're installing it on. So if you're putting it on your USB drive just make sure that it's not in a subdirectory, that it's in that D or whatever your USB drive's drive letter is. Um, and then ZAMP and not in a program's files or something like that. Uh, so that's the key to make it run. If it's on your hard drive then it would be C colon slash and then it would be ZAMP there. It wouldn't, there wouldn't be anything else in between. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and download WordPress while we're on the internet. And we'll just go to wordpress.org and go to the download area and download the latest version of WordPress to our hard drive as well. Okay, now that we have those two things downloaded, we can close the internet. And uh, now what I want to do is take uh, each of those. We'll look at the uh, ZAMP package first. And I'm just going to extract it here uh, on my desktop. Okay, now that it's extracted, I'm just going to hit cancel. And I should have a folder now on my desktop that's unzipped. Now, all I did to extract this was just right-clicked on the zip file and left-clicked on extract all. Uh, so we can get rid of the zip now. We no longer lead that, need that. I'm just going to delete it. <clears throat> now let's look in the unzipped package that we have here. And you notice that the, let me close this for a minute, that the unzipped folder is called ZAMP Lite dash Win 3 2.170, the version and so forth. If you click on that folder, inside the folder or the directory is a folder called ZAMP Lite. And then if you click on that directory, there's all the stuff that you actually need. That's all the essentially the web server software that we're going to be running on our local computer here. So this is the directory that you need here to be at the top level of whatever drive you're installing it on, not 
the main directory here. Okay, so what we would do is that I'm going to go to my USB drive. So here's my USB drive, and my USB letter on mine is H. Yours could be anything, but that's my drive. Now, if I want to install this on a USB, then what I need to do is take the directory that's inside this first one here, the one that's just called ZAMP Lite, and I'm going to move that onto the uppermost level of my USB drive. Now, of course, you could have downloaded it to your USB and extracted it onto USB, either one. The ultimate goal is to get the ZAMP Lite directory on your USB drive or on your C drive, wherever you want to, to put it. But it needs to be, again, at the uppermost level of whatever drive you're putting it on. That's the key. Okay, now it's copied onto my USB drive. So now I have my web server software installed on my USB at the upper level. Now I could have just as easily, if I'd wanted to, copied that to my C drive, the hard drive of my computer. The only thing, again, that you just need to do is to take that ZAMP Lite directory and drop it straight on C. Don't go into Documents and Settings or into Program Files or anything like that. Keep it at that upper level if you want to put it on C. But we're running it on the USB and there it is. Now that this is on your USB or wherever you install it, just go into it and open it and then there's a couple things I like to do first or one thing I like to do before I actually start it is to go to the port check option or link and click on the ZAMP port check exe file and that will go through and check the ports to see if they're free or busy and the ports that you need to make sure that are free are the HTTP port and your MySQL port so if the HTTP port and the MySQL port are free, then you should be able to run ZAMP. Quite often, the biggest problem I think people have at installing and running ZAMP effectively is that they get it installed, but then they can't get Apache to start because the Apache port, port 80, isn't free. And there are lots of things out there that could cause that. I think one of them, uh, if my memory serves me correctly, is Skype. If you're running Skype, I think Skype uh, uses port 80. So if it's not free, then you're not going to be able to start ZAMP. So this is just a quick check to make sure that that Apache and MySQL ports are actually free. So then once I know my ports are free, I should be able to start the web server fine. So I click on the ZAMP control exe and that will open a window that gives you your control panel area. And the two things we want to start are Apache and MySQL. So click start for Apache and you should see it running. You may get, depending on your computer, some alerts here to ask you to unblock certain programs so you would want to unblock it to allow ZAMP access and then start the MySQL. Uh, if you see both of those running then you're good to go now your server is running. Notice I get another security alert so I need to unblock that as well so that uh, MySQL can get access to port 3306. Uh, if you see these drop off then you have some problem on your computer. The ports aren't free or available or something like that. But as long as you see these two running, now your web server is running. So you can minimize that window. Uh, I could go ahead and close this if I want. The ZAMP Lite. Now I'm done. I have the web server running. And then all I need to do is go to my internet browser and type in localhost. And that should bring me to the splash page.